Hey guys, we've got a Jimny in today for a snorkel, so I'm going to take you through the install process. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is take the intake pipe off the airbox to the snorkel. Alright, so after the intake pipe, we're going to get our template and cut it out. Alright, so before we put the template on, we're going to take the little side indicator light out. You can use this with a little screwdriver or we just use the trim tools. Okay, so now before we put the template on, we're going to get some tape and we're going to mask up the guard so we don't make any scratches. So we don't make any scratches. <laughs> Alright, so now we're just going to align our template. Alright, so to align this, we just use the flare on the template. Make sure it matches going around there and you got your little hole for the indicator. So now we're going to remove the inner guard. To do this, they have these little trim tabs, so you can just use a little trim tool or you can flat blade, a little hook, and just pry that out, pull it out, and there's 14 of them, so enjoy. All right, up inside here as well, there's two 10 mil bolts that you need to take out, so just get your socket, undo them, and the guard will fall out. This next step isn't a must, but I do it so there's more room to get into the air canister. So I like to remove the battery. So do this. Okay, so in here you'll have your three bolts for your canister that's inside the guard. So we loosen them off so we can remove the canister from the inner guard. All right, so this is the inner guard coming out and our little canister now, the bolts are now off. That just slides down like that and it has a little air line on it. We just remove that and pull it out. Just like that. We've got the canister out from the inner guard. We're gonna relocate it up on the back firewall here and we're just gonna zippy that in place. All right, so now we're gonna get a drill bit. You drill and we're gonna put a pilot hole in where you need to go. <laughs> No, I can't put that. All right, so we're gonna use an air saw to cut out the hole. If you don't have an air saw at home, you can use tin snips. All right, so now we've cut the hole out, we want to deburr it. So I use a Dremel, you can use a deburring tool. This is a deburring tool. Oh, so they're different. <laughs> now we blow all the metal filings away so we don't get rust. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so now we've just coated the hole with anti-rust. All right, next step, you want to tape up the A pillar so you don't scratch it. Snorkel! There you have it, the snorkel. Okay, because the snorkel is so big, it is very tight in there and the snorkel will not fit. So you need to get something to bash out the inner guard. All right, now it's time to put the snorkel inside the hole. And it all right, so we've placed the snorkel inside the hole. We're now going to line up the bracket on the snorkel into the A-pillar and mark with a nico. All right, now that we've marked our holes for the A-pillar, we're going to use a drill to drill some pilot holes. For this, I'd recommend a 3mm. All right. All right, so now we've drilled our pilot holes, we're gonna put some screws in the A-pillar. All right, so we get the 90 degree adapter and we put in the joiner onto the second silicon piece, which is the 35. All right, so now's the tricky part. You gotta get up in the inner guard and you've got to put your silicon adapter into your stainless pot and then from there you've got to put your second adapter that goes up into the engine bay with your joiner. Okay, so we just chopped out a bit of the uh, guard here so it allows the silicon to get through to the engine bay. Engine bay. Engine. I can't talk, man. Okay, so what we've done is we've plumbed all the silicon in and the joiners into the airbox, tighten up all the hose clamps, and she's ready to go. If you're stuck on installing one of these and you have any questions, feel free to give us a call and we can help you out over the phone. Cheers, guys.